Okay, so you need to learn Hellweir. Maybe for a Reaper, some cash, the Elder Wand set, or hell, maybe even for the pet. I can't blame you for the latter. But regardless, you're in the right place. I'll be covering everything you need to know when it comes to slaying Hellweir. Now the only true set in stone requirement is 80 magic. But apart from this, we're not really gonna use magic here. It can work, but melee is highly recommended. It'll make things a lot easier. Now I'll recommend 85 plus combat stats. I really wouldn't go anything lower unless you got some good offensive potions such as Overload or Extreme Brawlers. If you want something tradable, there are Super War Masters and the Super Melee Comet Potions. At the bare minimum, you will need 43 Prayer for the protection from melee. You will use this alongside your best offensive prayer. In my case, it's Reflect, Melee and Turmoil. Now here we have a very typical inventory setup. Now as much as I'd love to say bring this amount of food, bring this much amount of prayer potions and such, it's not that easy. There are multiple variables that you need to take into consideration, such as perhaps you're using tanky armor and vampirism, you won't need that much food. Perhaps you're using penance, you won't need that much prayer potions. So for that reason, this setup right here is just sort of a generic setup. In this kill that we'll do later, I will assume you will take a beast of burden with food. So for that reason, I prioritize prayer potions a little extra. Of course when starting, it's always a good idea to take a beast of burden. More food means more room for error. I recommend having the beast of burden inventory near you, as shown here on screen. That way you could easily swap items whenever you please. Now it goes without saying, use the best gear you have. As you practice, you'll quickly find out that the choice of armor really isn't going to be all that important compared to like the weapon at least. But obviously the higher the tier, the easier it'll be. So take what you have. Here are a few armor setups. If you're unsure what to take, you could always use something a little tanky, then switch to power armor once you've gotten the groove down. As I mentioned earlier, the weapon will play a bigger role here. Optimally, in a perfect world, you'll want to go with a scythe or a dragon rider lance to make things easier. But if you choose a two-hander weapon without the long range or a dual wheel setup, one thing you will need is a weapon with a long range such as a halberd. Now it doesn't have to be anything fancy, just a level 70 crystal halberd will do just fine. Now the long range weapon isn't for Hellweir, it's for a few low level monsters that will spawn near him and you will have to take them out, as shown here. More info when we get to that actual mechanic. In this guide I'll be using a dual wield Elder Rune Swords plus 5. Now I don't recommend actually using a tier 85, this is sort of my, my base minimum. I certainly recommend for you use something higher. And I'll also be using a lance for my long range weapon. If you're tight on cash or don't have great combat potions, I would highly recommend the Blade of Avarice and the Blade of Nymora. They don't have flashy DPS, but they have great accuracy for the price. And last but not least, you'll need a shield. Now the really cool thing about Hellweir is, if utilized properly, you can last the entire hour with little to no food and I promise you it's not as hard as you might think. Just keep in mind the tier of the shield does matter so don't try to be cheap as 50% of the resonance shield comes from the ability itself and the other half comes from the tier of the shield divided by 2. Now there's a few abilities you need to keep in mind and have within reach at all times. It can be a little cramped having them alongside your DPS abilities so I recommend having them on another bar, as shown here on screen. Settings, Combat, Action Bar, Displace, Additional, Action Bar. Feel free to add Devotion, Debilitate, and Freedom. These will be your best friends throughout the kill. Also, if you're using Dual Wield, just remove the Destroy ability. I know, it's good DPS, but 
It will force Debilitate to be on cooldown, which is not what you want in this fight. Lastly, throw Hurricane and Quake into your second action bar. You'll want to use these at specific times, not just randomly throughout the fight. Before we proceed with the mechanics, remember, we can increase our chances for rare drop and reduce the kill count requirement from 40 to 20 by offering seals dropped by other bosses or by completing bounties. Now one thing I want you to remember is that Hellweir is sort of like a boss on a loop. It'll always do the same things. It'll throw a mechanic, two auto attacks, the second mechanic, two auto attacks, third mechanic, two auto attacks, and you guessed it, it's fourth mechanic, then two auto attacks. And once you get this, you will realize that this is quite an easy boss. All right, before we enter, make sure to kill some minions for some adrenaline, pop our preferred combat aura, and turn on our quick prayer. Also make sure those defensive and AOE abilities are within reach. We'll dissect all the mechanics one by one from beginning to end, and then we'll do a full kill in real time. Right off the bat, Hellweir will throw its first mechanic, so be weary. He'll spawn three mushrooms randomly across the room, spewing gas. Simply walk out of the gas if you're caught, stay there too long and you'll be binded and take even more damage. But after this one mechanic, as I mentioned before, he'll auto attack twice, then he'll move to the second mechanic. For the second mechanic, he will get on his hind legs and scream, you will bleed, and slash you. This is the hardest hitting hit of the boss, maxing out at about 3000. So don't worry about getting knocked out for a big hit. It This is, does not happen to this boss. Now there's two ways to deal with this. One, popping out your shield and using resonance to heal from this attack. Once you've gotten used to the mechanic, you can optionally turn off your prayer for a bigger hit. Because remember, protection from melee is reducing it by half. The second way to avoid this is to simply run behind him. This might be preferred if you're already at high hit points and don't really need the heal. The area of effect of this mechanic is pretty big, so please do not try to sidestep it thinking you're slick. You'll also notice a very long lasting bleed on you. As tempting as it is, do not use freedom, at least yet. After the rake attack, he will auto attack twice, then move to the third mechanic. On this mechanic, Hellweir will scream, you cannot escape me, and start thrashing about. Since you have protection from melee turned on, go ahead and pop a devotion or a debilitate to protect yourself, just one of them. Once he's done thrashing about, you can now use freedom to remove the large bleed. After the thrashing, he will auto attack twice and move to the final mechanic. For the final mechanic, Hellweir will howl and spawn three wolves. Now these wolves really aren't strong and do very little damage, but you still need to slay them as they stay spawned until you slay them. It will mess with your resonance. So to combat this, here's where the long range weapon comes into play. Switch if you need and once they're both in melee distance, pop a hurricane and maybe perhaps a quake for good measure. Be on your toes as he will spawn a new set of mushrooms after two auto attacks. AKA we stop the start the loop all over again. Now the last thing I want to mention is once you've gone through the entire rotation once and when the thrashing uh, mechanic comes into play, You'll notice that Devotion, if assuming you've used it first because it's the best one, is on cooldown still. Here's where you pop the Debilitate, so you basically just rotate between those two abilities throughout the entire fight.